How many units will it take to get through this defense? The answer will crush their barbarian dreams. Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. That's right, today's episode highlighting the Crusher unlocked at Builders Hall 3. It is the most powerful defense you've got, therefore the most important to defend and probably the most important to deal with when you are on the offense. So we're going to take a look at a lot of different situations with the Crusher. Right here you can see that 60 Barbarians don't do such a good job of getting through the Crusher. We're going to take another look at another mass Barbarian attack right here. And you'll notice right away, look at that very small radius. The Crusher, extremely powerful one-shots Barbarians, but has a very limited radius. And that makes it very vulnerable to attacks from other units. So we're going to roll through individual attacks as we have our little Crusher Temple set up right here. Each unit will get a chance to go at the Crusher Barbarian, as you can see, whether it's 1 or 60, not going to have a lot of luck. But there are a lot of units in the game that, of course, outrange the Crusher, first of which being the Sneaky Archer. She is going to have no problems at all getting that Crusher down, as long as, of course, there aren't other defenses in the area to take her down. She's going to get in there, and even one simple Archer can do what 60 Barbarians couldn't, taking down the Crusher, and she doesn't suffer a single hit point of damage. Next up, the big old Boxer Giant gets his shot right here, and this is where we're going to go into a little bit of the numbers. The Crusher attacks roughly once every 3.5 seconds. A max level Crusher does 209 damage per second, but because it's not attacking every second, it's actually doing over 700 damage per strike. So three hits from the Crusher at level five and that level 10 giant is history. The beta minion, however, not having any trouble. Of course, air units are never going to be affected by the Crusher. It is only a ground defense. So the beta minion getting in there, it's got that long strike for the first couple of shots. Then it moves in at closer range taking down the Crusher again without suffering any damage whatsoever. Next up in the lineup is our Battle Machine. We've got a level 5 Battle Machine coming at a level 5 Crusher at Builder Hall 5. Now we're not going to use the regenerative and damage increasing ability of the Battle Machine right here. Just going to check him out as he goes to work on this Crusher. And it's kind of close. You can see the Crusher's getting a few heavy shots off right here. But the winner is the Battle Machine raising his arm in victory. There he goes, off to destroy something else. Next up, our friend the Bomber attacking from long range. He's small and fragile, but puts out a lot of damage. And sure enough, easily outdistancing the Crusher. This may take him a while, so we will fast forward it. But of course, eventually, he gets through the Crusher as long as there are no other defenses around to take that Bomber down. The Bomber, one of my favorite units in the new Builder Base update, especially when he's got protection. All right, next up, a single Raging Baby Dragon. Now, of course, the Baby Dragon is within that three-tile radius of the Crusher, but, of course, being an airbound unit, we know what is going to happen here. The Crusher has no chance, easily taken out by a single Baby Dragon. And last but not least, with even longer range abilities than the Bomber, here comes the Cannon Cart. It's going to sit back from afar and wipe out that Crusher easily. So again, it's all about getting units in there that are going to outrange or be air units that are not affected by the Crusher. So we've seen what units will and will not take down a Crusher, but how about when you've got a Crusher and you're going to use some push traps to maybe troll an attacker and send a giant unsuspectingly, unwillingly right up close and personal to a crusher. Doesn't work out so well right here for that giant. And watch this next giant deployed by the gem mine. And right there, it looks like he tried to turn around. Was that fear in his eyes? He knew he stood no chance against that giant stone behemoth and another giant crushed by the crusher. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of base designs using the Crusher at Builder Hall 3, where maybe this isn't the ideal placement. Right here, the Crusher out towards the edge 
And again, it's all about finding units that will outrange that crusher. If you don't centrally protect your crusher, it is going to be vulnerable to all sorts of attacks. So right here, I just simply switch out a couple of camps of barbs for archers. I'm going to bring one group of giants. The giants are going to easily distract all of the defenses in the area. I deploy my archers around the perimeter. They take out those outer structures and then move in after those defenses. You can see not quite enough hit points in the giants to last long enough to tank everything. The archers doing a good job, not going to be a three star win, but at Builder Hall 3, oftentimes a mid range one or two star attack is going to be enough to grab you the win over your opponent. Right here, they finish off the Builder's Hall and I end up walking away the victor. In this next battle, a slightly different base design, the Crusher a little more well protected, but I can still use Giants to distract the other defenses in the area and then deploy archers to move in through those surrounding structures and take out the Crusher before the Giants ever have to get within that deadly three tile radius. So at Builder Hall 3, think of the Crusher as kind of like an Eagle Artillery at Town Hall 11, it is going to be the most critical defense you have. Opponents are likely to focus their attacks on getting it out of the way. You want to protect it as best you can. And remember, the Crusher is the only defensive structure that provides splash damage until you unlock the Multi-Mortar. So again, units not able to get through this village completely and three star it, but we got the Builder's Hall down, we got the two star, and we're going to pop over to my defensive layout right now at Builder Hall 3. I've just gotten my Crusher down. I put it pretty much in the center of the base. You'll notice that I'm trying to surround it as best I can to protect it from beta minions and archers with the firecrackers, the Tesla, and the archer tower. And there is a little bit of a troll trap set up there in the lower left corner as those push traps will force the giants and other units right on to the spring traps. So let's go ahead and play a couple of defensive replays of my Builder Hall 3 setup while we go through some recent comments. This one from Wes says, watch Keisuke's reactions during the battles. It's hilarious. Yes, in the YouTuber Builder Base tournament, Keisuke was competing for Japan. And in addition to being a YouTuber, Keisuke is a very funny stand-up comedian. Everybody there, it was fantastic to hang out with those guys. Supericious says, Gout on the type of guy to gem a two second construction. It's true, I gemmed the repair of the boat for one gem. I, I don't know, I just hit the button. It was an accident, I swear. And Jones Gaming says, I think that this is the best video you have uploaded in a long time, talking about my last Clash of Clans video. I gotta tell you guys, I am super excited to be back to my roots and uploading Clash of Clans videos once again. Loving it, and I'm super happy that you guys are enjoying it as well. Now Thor Nyland says, you forgot to max your spells, but hey, gotcha, no spells in the builder base, at least not right now. So that's kind of nice. The spells are actually built into the units as you upgrade them. Liam Chilton said, started watching the live stream. I think he's talking about the clan push for number one in the builder base. Really good idea on your part, but I can't take credit for this. It was Goatman12's idea from the Reddit Clash of Clans community. Liam continues, but the part I really like is he says, as soon as you make Clash of Clans videos, I come back and I'm sure others too. That is exactly what I love to hear. I had a feeling a lot of people would return to Clash of Clans with this update. And Tau Gamma says, uh, Galidon, you are- Galidon. Uh, no, it says, Galidon, you are the worst Clasher ever. All right. Thank you both for that one. All right. Moving on. Ruben Jancy says you can still rush the levels. You don't have to max it. That's true. It won't let you advance builder halls until you've built the structure, but you don't have to max out the level of the structure before you move on. Max Knapp says Galadon's videos will never get boring. I certainly hope not. And I promise to try Max. Thank you so much. And last but not least, Dino Games says Galadon, on yesterday's stream, I was the one who suggested all cannons. Hey, Dino Games, you owe me 33 trophies. Thank you guys again for watching. You are the true Galafam. Make sure you subscribe for daily Clash videos. And of course, come back again tomorrow for more full attacks.
Kingdom. Some of your comments are quite on point. 